So since the 1960s, uh, you know, we have seen a in first increasing rate of uh, antibiotic resistance in gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. And more recently, since I would say 2000, something like that, we have seen a decrease of antibiotic resistance in gram-positive bacteria, and I mean mostly in Western uh, Europe, in Europe and in, uh, in the US. The decrease we have observed is mostly observed in Staphylococci aureus, in Staphylococci and in Pneumococci. And it is not well known. In Staphylococci, it could be related to screening of the patient with the so-called medicine-resistant medicine resistance, uh, pattern, uh, isolation of those patients, and maybe some kind of uh, evolution, natural evolution of bacteria. And for pneumococci and beta-lactam, it could be related to the usage of vaccine against pneumococci. We have selected bacteria which are uh, less prone to be resistant to beta-lactam. So within the next uh, 5, 10, 20 years, I firmly believe that we are on a trend of increasing rate of antibiotic resistance in gram-negative bacteria. And the problem, in my opinion, not only in the hospital, but in community-acquired uh, you know, infection, where they will not be able to be controlled whatever the antibiotic usage are going to be given worldwide. So I think the most problematic problem is increasing uh, antibiotic resistance in community-acquired pathogens, such as E. coli, for example. The main target for developing novel antibiotics are for sure gram-negative bacteria. And within those bacteria, the most important target are Pseudobonas aeruginosa and by far Arterobacteria C, and the very first would be E. coli. And why? Because we are seeing, you know, emergence of antibiotic resistance, resistance to beta-lactam, such as extended spectrum beta-lactamases and cabapeminases in those um, gram-negative bacteria. Except targeting for development of novel antibiotics, I would think that development of novel rapid diagnostic testing are quite important because those developments may lead to um, perfect adaptation in between first-line therapy and uh, antibiotic resistance.